Oh, Godzilla. The radioactive lizard, the king of monsters, the green-scaled metaphor for nuclear anxiety. We've seen him stomp Tokyo flat a dozen times now, haven't we? Same tired roar, same heroic scientists, same damsel in distress, getting scooped up by the handsome military man. It's practically a bingo card at this point. Except, what if I told you there's a Godzilla movie you haven't seen? Not some obscure Japanese B-flick, mind you, but a hidden gem buried deep in the Toho vaults. A film so different, so raw, it'll make you rethink everything you thought you knew about our favorite atomic reptile. It's called Godzilla Minus One. No, that's not a typo. Minus One, as in the one film in the entire franchise where Godzilla. Well, let's just say he's not quite the main attraction. This isn't your hero's journey. There are no plucky scientists with Geiger counters or last-minute MacGyver fixes. Here, in the shadow of Godzilla's tyrannical reign, humanity just survives. They scavenge for scraps, huddle in makeshift shelters, and pray the king of monsters doesn't turn their corner. And that's where the real story shines. Not in the roar of atomic breath, but in the quiet desperation of a mother shielding her child a black marketeer haggling over irradiated rations, a soldier haunted by the ghosts of comrades crushed under Godzilla's feet. This is Akari, no chosen one, no magical bloodline, just a girl who lost her family in the first rampage, who learned to navigate this war-torn Tokyo with grit and resilience. She's seen the worst Godzilla has to offer, and she's not giving up without a fight. But Godzilla Minus One isn't just about Ikari. It's a tapestry of human stories woven against the backdrop of a city held hostage. The jaded veteran haunted by memories of the good old days before the bombs. The black marketeer Kingpin who clings to a twisted sense of control. The scientist, ostracized by his peers, who dares to study Godzilla not to defeat him, but to understand. These are the faces of a broken world, forced to adapt, to find meaning in the rubble. They're not heroes, not in the traditional sense. They're just people, doing what they have to do to survive in a world where the sun is blotted out by a giant radioactive lizard. And that's what makes Godzilla Minus One so damn compelling. It strips away the spectacle, the bombast, and asks a simple question. What does it mean to be human when the world is ruled by a monster? The film doesn't shy away from the grim realities of Godzilla's reign. Akari and her fellow survivors face constant threats, not just from the king of monsters himself, but from scavengers, disease, and the ever-present shadow of despair. But even in the darkest corners, glimmers of humanity shine through. Acts of kindness, whispered tales of hope, the quiet defiance of those who refuse to let Godzilla break their spirit. These are the embers that keep Akari and others going, the fuel that drives them to resist, to rebuild, to dream of a future beyond the monster's shadow. As the story unfolds, we discover a hidden network of rebels, fighting not with bombs and lasers, but with cunning, sabotage, and unwavering will. Akari joins their ranks, her initial distrust transforming into fierce loyalty. Together, they plot a daring strike against Godzilla. Not to slay him, they know that's a fool's errand, but to weaken him, to buy some precious time, to offer Tokyo a flicker of hope. The climax is unlike any Godzilla battle you've seen before. No grandiose displays of firepower, no last-minute deus ex machina. Here, victory is measured in inches, in stolen breaths, in the silent resilience of those who refuse to surrender. The outcome of their audacious plan is ambiguous, left open to interpretation. Did they succeed? Did they fail? Does it even matter? In the end, Godzilla Minus One isn't about conquering monsters. It's about conquering despair, about the tenacious spirit of humanity that refuses to be extinguished, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Godzilla Minus One is a film that will stay with you long after the credits roll. It's a powerful reminder that, even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can endure, can adapt, can even find a way to thrive. So the next time you think you've seen it all when it comes to Godzilla, seek out this hidden gem.
It might just change your perspective on the King of Monsters and on humanity itself.